OK, we're very nearly ready to start work on a course now. But before we do, we need to understand about faces, edges and verts. Now, verts are the points that create the mesh. Uh, every triangle in our mesh is comprised of three verts. If I turn the verts on so we can see them, you'll see there's a vert on the point of every triangle. Now between each adjoining vert there's a line. This is an edge and this controls the shaping of the land so it will determine whether it's a sharp straight edge or a curved edge whether we've got a step or a bank things like that and we can adjust the edge uh, to create what we want lastly every three verts creates a face which is this the triangle areas and these are what we apply the textures to and it creates the actual surface of the course the fairways, the greens, uh, that sort of thing. So I'm going to start, I'll turn the face, turn the verts off again. I'm going to start by showing how to select faces uh, and then we'll do edges and verts. So we'll click terrain and you'll see there's tabs for face, edge and verts up here. I'll click the face one for starters. Now at the bottom here we've got four icons and these are all different ways to select the faces we want. Uh, the first is a box select which very simply means we click and drag our mouse and a box will appear and then when we let go those faces are selected. Now when things are selected we can apply a texture to the face uh, so I'm going to do that because it will make the next bit easier to explain. Let's say sand and this is the apply button so when we click that you'll see those faces have turned to sand. They're still a pinky colour because they're still selected. If I click away from there you'll see the actual colour of the texture. The second selection method, drag select, allows us to actually draw the faces on by clicking our mouse and then just dragging around and we can colour in whatever faces we want. So again I'm going to change that again into sand so I've gone down click sand click apply texture the third method of selecting is the region select button now this will select all the faces of the texture that I click in so if I click in this sand here you'll see all the sand faces in that area are selected it hasn't selected these ones which are also sand just the ones in this region so if I click outside we'll get the rough selected and in this one again it's selected all the faces in that region now the last select is all of type now this will actually select both areas of sand because they're both the same texture and this can be quite useful later on uh, for certain things as I will explain um, but it's, it's often quite handy to be able to select all of the textures on your course at the same time So they are the four ways of selecting. 
Now, what we also can do is, if you notice, I'll go on, say, the drag select. If I drag select an area there, whoops, I clicked again. Now, this is a good point to show you where the undo is. So, <laughs> edit, undo, or step one step backwards. You'll be using that absolutely tons of times. Uh, just it stores all the things you've ever done. So, you well to a certain point you can step back and back and back and back and back so it's quite handy to get out of, out of messes so we've selected this area and I've missed this triangle now if I click on that triangle as well to select that all the others will disappear as they did when I did it accidentally undo so what we need to do is press our shift key if you remember the shift key produces that plus symbol which lets us add to what we've already done so if I now click while I'm holding the shift key there I've added that extra face I can draw more in and conversely obviously the control key that brought us up that minus before we can deselect faces now you'll be using these like I say control and shift are so important keys you'll be using them all the time to do things like this selecting verts and edges and whatever uh, because you often need to select multiple things at once when you're developing your course so those are the four selections of face if I now click to edge you'll see it has its own row of selection tools the first one is basically just a, a single select so if I click on there we get an edge selected if, again if I click on another one the first one disappears so if I want to select more than one hold shift I can then add more edges at once so control I can take away now radial select is the next one I really don't use this anymore I, I used it for a while but very rarely use it it's pretty much the same as select but it only lets you select the next edge to where you are so if I hold my shift key again I click on that edge I can't then add an edge down here you'll see the yellow marks showing where it wants me to select it only wants me to select one points on the edges of where I already am so I can select that edge and that edge but I can't select that edge there it's it's drawn that one in if I come down here and click it's drawn that edge up there in Um, so yeah that's basically the difference between the radial edge select and the normal edge and again I couldn't use the radial select to take out that edge in the middle there because it won't let me select it it only wants me to to take this end edge if I click, click control I can take that end out but I can't take any of these out with radial select so like I say I don't really use it at all uh, the next one region select that's similar to the to the face so if I click anywhere here it's going to select every edge that's in this region which is rough so there it is it's selected all of those if I click in the sand here it will select all of that sand region in here all of that sand region now there's no select all types uh, on the edges and on the verts so if I wanted to select this area as well again I'd have to hold shift down and then I can select that edge now that's all very well if I've only got two or three 
regions quite close but it's say I wanted to select the edge of every single uh, sand on the course it's going to take an awful long time to hold shift down and go around my whole course clicking select 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 so one of the best ways of selecting things is to use two controls let me just deselect there two controls in the actual select option which are these converts there's convert from face and convert from vertex because we're on edge if we were on face there would be convert from edge convert from vertex and if we're on verts there'll be convert from face and convert from edge so you always get the option to convert to the other two whatever you're doing so because we want to select all the edges we know there's a select all types in face so if we selected all types that would select every uh, sand on our course if we then switch to edge and select convert from face we know all the faces are selected it will select all the edges this is really really useful uh, a lot of times I didn't when I first started design I didn't didn't realize you could do this um, but these converts are just I use so much and they really should have their own icons uh, down here because they're so so useful so anyway I'll remind you about that I'm sure at a later date but that's a really useful way of selecting things so we've done a region select the next one along is perimeter select now this you'll use quite a lot because you'll need to use it to select the edges of your fairways and your greens to create the curves you need otherwise you're they're going to look really messy and horrible so basically you need to click anywhere inside a region and it will select if you see the red line it's just selected the edges around the perimeter so if I click in the rough it's selected the edges outside again so it's selected around both of these sand areas and it will also have selected along the edge of the map here so that's perimeter select internal select I think that's called is it interior region select now that does the opposite of the perimeter so if I click in side with that it won't select any edge that's touching the perimeter so it hasn't selected this edge this edge this edge just the ones in the middle okay now last of all we'll go to verts again we've got box select so we can just drag to select our verts here again remember we can hold shift down if we want to add more so we could shift shift we could hold control down and take a few away a few in there Let's see, box so we can select verts like that we've got our region select again so if I click in this area of sand it will select all the verts within that sand texture all the verts there all the verts there again if I want to hold shift down I can select multiple regions take away a region by holding control down just the same as with faces and with edges and the last but not least interior region select it's the same as the edge one if we click in there it will select all the verts apart from ones that are actually on the edge of the texture so it won't select any verts along there mm, that should do us for this lesson and we can now uh, start work on a course <laughs>